Yes, uh, of course, in cryptocurrency, just like any other market, there are actually things that you know before starting cryptocurrency. So on this video, I'm going to say 20 things that you need to know before starting cryptocurrencies. And number one being cryptocurrency are digital assets that actually operate on decentralized network without central authority like the government or the bank, right? The most well-known cryptocurrency is Bitcoin, but now there are thousands of many other coins that are registered on the coin market cap as we speak. Over 22,000 are registered on the blockchain. So many, uh, there are actually constantly evolving coins that are registered on the blockchain throughout the year. And yes, so we see that cryptocurrency market is growing very, very rapidly. So now cryptocurrency can be bought and it can also be sold on exchanges and it can also be earned through mining sometimes you hear people saying i'm earning my cryptocurrency through mining right so cryptocurrency are highly volatile and their value can actually change rapidly making them a risky investment so always invest what you're willing to lose because now in every risk you should know that you need to know how to mitigate the risk so it's important to do your research before investing in any cryptocurrency as there are many scams and free to land projects out there cryptocurrency are not regulated by the government so there is no guarantee of protection for the investors but because of the power of blockchain technology that underpins cryptocurrency is secure and transparent uh, but it is also complex and very difficult uh, for a newbie to understand but however cryptocurrency are stored in the digital wallets which can either um, you know be connected to the internet or offline as well so it's important that you keep cryptocurrency secure by using your strong password and also two-factor authentication so cryptocurrency transactions are irreversible always remember that so it's important to make sure that you send your funds to the correct address cryptocurrency can be used to make purchases and payments but not all merchants accept them we've seen recently with pick and pay that they do accept the cryptocurrency or bitcoin so which is one step away so the value of cryptocurrency is not tied to any physical assets so they are not subject to any inflation or deflation in the same way as traditional currencies so the total supply of the most cryptocurrency is fixed meaning that there is no finite amount of assets that will be available so some of these cryptocurrency have specific use cases such as um, facilitating international remittances or providing a means of exchanges in countries with stable currencies so cryptocurrency are often used as a speculative investment with investors hoping uh, you know to profit from the price movement so cryptocurrency can be highly volatile with price fluctuations of uh, 10 percent you know 30 percent or even more you know in one single day being common so learn more about the topics that we offer or the value that we share with our community make sure that you subscribe our youtube channel where we give a lot of content and open discussion as well for our zoom meetings so book your one-on-one -on -one session and let's talk about this so the more we talk the more we engage the more we learn uh, from each other so see you next time and uh, i hope you open your eyes for our next video on how to actually uh, start your forex uh, business and what you need to get started and what are things that you need to be aware of so see you next time.